what's going on YouTube it's your boy Shrek again I wasn't planning on making a video again but I finally brought my camera so I'm trying a whole new point of view got the GoPro on my head right now I'm over here with diesel diaries this is gonna be a video for diesel diaries we're installing a tank metering unit this is it so I already got started on getting prepped up I'll just let you guys know what I've done so far so we have the big fender side skirt thing right here on the side which is this one right here and we have the step went ahead and took it off then we have a little piece of trim which is this one right here that goes right here and our metering unit this is on a Cascadia 2016 is right here this is our metering unit so I'm just cleaning it up right now brushing it down cleaning the whole area out so I don't have nothing going the tank just a little brush getting all that cleaned out then I'm not sure if you can see this but it has a few bolts it has one two three four five bolts so it has five bolts I believe they're Torx let me see I believe they're Torx that's too big I already have one that I use for the that's too big too I used it for the little fender flare things okay here we go so there's a Torx it is a T25 T25 so I'm going to be cleaning this out as best as possible just so I don't get anything in our tank any of this dirt let me continue cleaning it probably fast forward through this since now I do have my GoPro and you're able to see the whole thing I just like I said I didn't record the beginning part <sighs> all right almost cleaned let me spray that one more time harness out of the way and that's it but it's gonna be fun oh, there we go okay that wasn't too bad Let's see if we got the new one in oh, it's a little different I'm so shaky today.
all right guys so i'm editing the video and i just realized that i didn't put no context behind this clip right here so what i'm doing is i'm actually splicing into the original harness because the new fuel metering unit comes with a new harness that needs to be spliced into the original one so what i'm doing is i'm cutting it up i'm lighting up the wires i'm not sure if it's like a positive or negative but i know they're like signal wires so one tells um, I believe one tells it when it's full, once when it's empty, or something along those lines. Let me know if you know the actual terms in the comments. But like I'm saying, I'm actually splicing into the harness, the original harness, because the new metering unit is completely different, and like the whole system is different. So splicing into the original harness, I am soldering it and that's what you guys are seeing in this clip right here so enjoy it i'm adding well a whole point of view i'm adding some soundtracks i'm getting some beats from a friend of mine let me know what you guys think and yeah continue to watch enjoy Put the plug in there, just like that. All right, let's test it out, see if it's working. Let's see if it's working. All right, a half a tank. Right. it's working there it is all right so we'll put the steps back on and all that good stuff and that's gonna be it hope you guys are enjoying this just gonna go ahead and tighten it a little bit more make sure it's tight put the skirt back on put our step back on Oh, zip tie this put everything back on let me know if this point of view is is better for you guys if it works better i'm going to be doing more videos possibly with this point of view so let me know if it's good or not then civic content coming real soon all right guys thank you guys for the support see you guys on the next one by the way guys this fender flare thing this has two bolts right here and then it has one bolt back here on each side so one bolt on the inside right there one down here so let me see if you can see it oh yeah right there that's all it is to take and put that one back on